Hey guys, this is Social Fire, and today I am showcasing the new Extreme Tech LR Super Saiyan Broly on Global. So, Transforming Broly has been extremely hyped up. I'm personally very excited about him as well. We'll start off with his stats here though. So at 100% and level 150, his HP is 20,088, attack is 15,445, and defense is 8,275. His leader skill is Resurrected Warriors category key plus 4, and HP attack and defense plus 130%. Or Extreme Tech types key plus 4 and HP attack and defense plus 100%. His 12 to 17 key super attack is called Bloody Smash, which causes colossal damage and lowers enemy defense. Eraser Cannon is the 18 plus key super attack, which causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers enemy defense. His passive skill Devilish Chase is attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack. Plus, there's an additional attack plus 50% if it is an ultra super attack. He also launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies, and he will transform when conditions are met, and that transformation occurs starting from the fourth turn from the start of the battle. Now, personally, I'm happy it's not a very complicated condition to meet, that should be fairly easy to get him to transform. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, which is attack plus 700, the Saiyan Lineage, which is key plus 1, Berserker, which is attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or below, Prepared for Battle, which is key plus 2, Super Saiyan, which is attack plus 10%, Fierce Battle, which is attack plus 15%, and Legendary Power, which is attack plus 5000 when a super attack is launched. And then his categories are Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, and Transformation Boost. So he actually has some great categories there. His 12 key multiplier is 145%, 24 key multiplier is 200%, and if you max out his SA, that raises it by an additional 30%. Now when he transforms, his leader skill will obviously be the same. Super attack for 12 to 17 key is now Omega Blaster, which causes colossal damage and greatly lowers enemy defense. The 18 plus key super attack is Gigantic Meteor, which causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers enemy defense. His passive skill is now Devilish Siege, which is attack and defense plus 100 when performing a super attack. Plus there's an additional attack plus 88% if it is an ultra super attack. He also launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing only one enemy, and he launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. And his active skill is Kakarot, which is key plus 24 and attack plus 48% for one turn. And of course, that can only be activated after transformation and only once, like other active skills, of course. So again, personally, I have been very excited about this unit. Um, I love the new Broly movie, but old school Broly is always going to be my favorite. I mean, Broly is my favorite villain, and this guy, it just looks so good. And it, it's a lot of fun just seeing what he can do. For instance, with this Dokkan mode here, he's linked up with the old school um, strength LR Broly. So we'll see what he does here against Harutagarna. You guys know how I feel about Harutagarna. So here with Dokkan mode, no criticals, 6 million. So just over 6 million there, that's pretty nice. And throughout the showcase, he really got a range here. I mean, at the lower end, it was, you know, a little over 1 million with the um, 12 to 18 key super attacks. On the higher end, he was ranging anywhere between 3 to 6 million. And I believe he topped out, um, we'll see later in the video, it was either active skill or Dokkan mode. I noticed he topped out about 7.6 million. So this guy is gonna do some pretty solid damage. I mean, he can tank well too. And like I said, this is one of those units that I've been extremely excited to see. Cause I mean, I love the old Broly movie too. So seeing this is kind of a throwback and I just really enjoyed it here. The downside here is that you can't use him with the other Super Saiyan Broly. So, um, the one the one that we got from the movie, the new movie, that's a uh, downside there. I was kind of bummed that I couldn't run him with the physical Super Saiyan Broly because they share the same name. But there's still plenty of other units that you can run him with, so 
obviously that would have been really nice if you could run them together because physical Super Saiyan Broly is a really good um, movie boss lead, but there's always Tarlos too. Speaking of which, um, his best category probably is going to be Resurrected Warriors, but honestly, he's going to do well on any of these. I mean, you have, like I said, you have a lot of great categories here. Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Transformation Boost. He's going to do well really on any of those. And you're going to have a lot of options as far as who to link him up with. Throughout this showcase, he's mainly or linked up with the Strength LR Broly um, most often. But the Agility Wrathful Broly is on the team as well, which he's often linked up with. Turles um, rotates as well. So finding a place for him on these teams shouldn't be that difficult. He's going to link up very well with several of these units. Now I've got to say, as far as the look of this unit, I, I love it. I love the card art, um, especially in LR form, form looks absolutely badass. And the super attacks are amazing, which I uh, think we had talked about previously in other videos. I was kind of expecting that because all of the newer units have looked incredible. And especially his active skill. His active skill is easily one of my favorites now. Um, these active skills have just been insane. I am really enjoying this newer feature in Dokkan as well. Seeing the units having that active skill and being able to use that is pretty nice too. Now, as far as his um, hidden potential, I, I would personally say you definitely don't need evasion. I probably would spec more into crits, put more focus there because his passives um, in base form and transformed he already gets additional attacks as well, so personally I would recommend putting most of those into criticals. And then if there's any leftover, going into the additionals, but like I said, it's really nice that he gets those additional attacks with his passives. So we'll take a look here at this rotation again. So again, he's linked up with the Strength LR Broly. And like I said here, this just looks incredible. <laughs> I'm loving it. So 6.4 million with criticals. So like I said, this guy's gonna do some pretty solid damage. I mean, personally, I would say I am impressed. I think that he really, um, they did a great job with him and it uh, really lived up to what I was expecting me personally and you can let me know in the comments below if this is what you were hoping for when we first started talking about him and everything was released we were waiting on the information to come out but and like I said when I woke up extremely early this morning because that's when they had decided to drop the information was super early this morning I woke up and saw this and I was like okay this is worth waking up for I'm I'm happy today they did Broly justice and I I really have to get around to redoing my um, top super attack videos and maybe another active skill video because with these newer units coming out, I've just been so impressed lately. And Broly is definitely up there. This is one of those units I'm going to want to summon for. I mean, we still have four year coming up to consider, but uh, this looks good. Especially that active skill sold me right here. Kakarot, uh, this is one of the main reasons I want this guy. So anyways guys, let me know in the comments if you plan on summoning for him. And if this is a unit that you really want or if you think you're gonna pass him up and wait for four year. I'd love to hear your opinions on it as well. And just your thoughts overall about the effects, animations, art. Again, just let me know down below. So we'll finish up here taking a look at his last super attack here. I could watch this all day. <laughs> so here we go, 7.6 million with criticals. That's insane, guys. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.